shooting chance. Ole Miss has won three of their last four. That was after they had dropped eight of nine, starting to figure things out, relying on old number four, Bree and Tyree, a little bit. The backcourt mate, Devontae Shuler, also can get it going when needed. Here's Shuler. KJ Buffett will swing it in the corner. been bothered by foul trouble this season. But the takeaway, here's Pinson. Well, what we expected, but what's so as a player, you watch Green Tyree in the warm-up today, he struggled a little bit, couldn't find his rhythm. You wonder if that carries over to the game. As a player, you like to see it go through the net. He wasn't able to do that in the pre-game warm-ups. Just missed one shot, but that's something that I want you to know, Dave. Just missed one. Pinson hadn't been. Throws up a tough shot at the front of the rim, but nobody's there except Pinson to pick it up. 10-5. Pick it. Pinson right into traffic and drew some contact to a deep the basket. But he made up for it on this end by getting back to the... To get into TV and broadcasting. Good way to get some experience is to go for 25 and come sit with us at the end of the game. No doubt. Put the headset on. Ole Miss has cut it to three. Like that denial. And Williams all over Pinson. Kobe Brown will get it to Pinson. Now what you're going to see is the very late in the shot clock they have to create. Dave, how Devontae Shula is face guarding Xavier Pinson. Drew Smith. Here's Pinson. Nico comes to set a screen. That's a two. Devontae Shula was responsible for the change in Ole Miss basketball as they've now made this run just as much as Brian Tyree. He now seems to have his feet underneath him in the second half. Pinson again. Defend a ball screen. It's never just two guys. It takes a collective unit. And Pinson that time was hugged too much to his man, which allowed Hadeem C to get open for that while in the layout. Uh-oh. He makes up offensively looking for the shot. Reaches in there and pokes it away. That's the one area where Brian Tyree can continue to improve. And part of that is he's got to continue to have guys who uh, he has confidence to make passes to. But as he begins to be such a tremendous scorer that he's displayed, he's going to have to distribute the basketball as well. Come on. A lot of dialogue about how well Brian Tyree played in the first half. In the second half, Xavier Pinson saying, you got to deal with me too. I reach that to attempt a shot in the second half. How does that happen? Well, sometimes it's the defense, the opponent stepping up. Nice job of pinching moves in his body. But as a great offensive player, it's your job to continue to hunt the basketball. That's what Brian Tyree has to do a little bit more of in the second half. That's what he's been averaging the last three games. Find a way. And I, I don't know if it's just, I mean, Give Missouri credit for not allowing Tyree to kind of get his shot going. But you got to find a way, right? I mean, well, right now, for a lot of Green Tyree's teammates, it's just confidence. And one thing about it is you see Pinson. That guy's got it. This team didn't want him anymore. Couldn't make enough games. So they said, we're going to fill your spot with somebody else. That's nice. Ole Miss goes out of the 1-3-1 now, and now they go back to the man-to-man. -man. Now I'm looking for Pinson and Drew Smith. Here's Parker Brown, back to Pinson. C comes out and will foul him. He's trying to get to that sideline. If you get a foot on the sideline, you cut him out. Pinson. in the game clock and they foul and coach Kirk. a guy that shoots 80 percent at the free throw free throw line chasing down a school record for a season
Brian, or in his career, Brian Tyree goes over 20 points. Ole Miss trying to foul. Pinson finally bumped by KJ. Confident right now with the basketball and Brian Tyree and Xavier Pinson. Oh, God.